Rick Evans. Still a bit breezy around the region, but not as gusty as it was over the weekend or yesterday or even this morning when the winds were still howling. Folks actually enjoying El Paseo, standing outside the corner of San Pablo and El Paseo. This area of low pressure is the culprit creating the wind, but there's another system coming in as it arrives as we move into Wednesday and Thursday. You're going to see the winds pick back up today. Because of those winds, we're going to stay in the 80s to around 90 for the daytime high. Very comfortable. Skies are clear across Southern California. You can see very clearly the system, though, that is stirring up the wind. That area of low pressure kind of curling around just to the south of Salt Lake, working its way toward Denver. Uh, it is significant enough that it's given us very windy conditions. But one of the things that's happened is the atmosphere's dried out over the deserts. We saw some fairly high dew points and a lot of water vapor over the uh, end of the last week. But things have dried out a little bit now. Temperature wise, uh, lower and middle 80s across the valley floor. Uh, some parts of the valley will likely get to about 90, 91. Much of the West Valley will not. So we're going to stay in the 80s. Uh, tomorrow we warm back up into those mid and upper 90s, but only for a couple of days. We are running a little bit warmer than we were yesterday. It was a really comfortable day despite the winds. And if you were in one of those more sheltered areas from the winds, you weren't battling the gusty winds. Uh, dew points now in the 40s, so if you want to turn on your evaporative cooler instead of the AC, right now I don't think you need either one of them. It's pretty comfortable out there. Winds up to around 18 to 20 miles per hour along the valley floor. Similar numbers in the high desert. They're running a good bit lower than they were this morning, but we are going to see some breezy conditions tonight as we move through sundowner hours and even into tomorrow. And quite honestly, I think this is going to be one of those weeks where we see the wind off and on continuing. It will help to keep our temperatures in check, though. Today, our numbers upper 80s to around 90, then dropping off nicely tonight. We'll see those numbers go down into the lower 70s, then into the 60s for overnight lows. This low leaves, and another trough drops in. And when that happens, winds will pick back up, temperatures will come back down. So here we go. It's a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Today, around 90, we're going to be 8 or 9 degrees warmer tomorrow, and that will last through Wednesday. Winds, winds pick up again Wednesday evening. Thursday, we're looking at 89 degrees, just like today. And then on Friday, we're going to be in the middle 80s, 90s for your weekend. All of these numbers, or the vast majority of them, are running below average here. So very comfortable, no triple digits. And as we are, what, approaching the latter part of May, the lack of triple digits is pretty, pretty amazing. I think we should be very thankful for this forecast. Yeah, we're at that time of year where this is uh, mid-May. It could be anything. Usually, it? yeah. For the last two years I've been here, it's been triple digits. <laughs> this is amazing. I will take that. Yeah. These days in the 80s, we call those bonus days because you don't get a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. Do we have to tip you extra, Pat? Uh, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> he, he said yes. All right. On Wall Street.